Greetings, my fellow followers of the Blood God. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech, the first one to go. Episode 15, Death Rest. I think what I could do is um, switch the stockpile zone around to be raw meat. And then uh, turn that rice into baby food. Of course, Soul Wayne was like, oh, I'm just gonna, nope. All right, let's do this again. You don't understand what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to reclaim that rice so I can make it into baby food. There we go. So now I have a batch of baby food coming. How many days has it been? I feel like it's been like closing on 10. Uh, baby food should probably be stored here. Frozen. Oh, that's not correct. There we go. And 53 baby food is probably good for now. Soul Wayne's already uh, hauling the human meat into the stockpile, so they're just gonna have to eat raw human meat. I don't, I don't care. It's fine. Fine by me. Pollution stimulus is a duplicate, so I'll get that sold at some point. And in here. Set this up for prisoners and capture. Now, the only problem of storing human meat in here is, of course, it will rot. Um, so it would be ideal if this was, like, refrigerated temperature, but I'm not going to spend the effort to fix that right now. I'll just waste human meat. Because I have uh, bigger concerns to deal with than maximizing meat storage. I can't express... How little I care about maximizing meat storage at the moment. So with that thrust coming on, I am going to want to get um, death rest research going. So I'm going to pivot, fix the base, and research death rest. And I hope that Kish is able to get the grow zone going again. Did we bank that, Gene? We must have. So she is egg extraction time. And your genes regrow in about a week. So let's go extract the eggs. Marauder encampment, guarded by four imps. Uh, what reward for the encampment? I'm not obligated to do it, so I can accept it and ignore it. Low shield pack, power claw, jade, or plasteel. That shouldn't have been rice. So these guys, prisoner food is gonna change. Let me manage the food restrictions I just realized. It's now gonna be raw meat. And I'm researching death rest now. I think we're kind of out of the woods, so I'm gonna take the red light off. I just wish Kish worked faster. April, thank you for the sub.
So Parduk, you can just go to Dormant Recharge. There's literally nothing for you to do at the moment. And Solwain, you are wandering. Is there really nothing for you to do either? So I'm going to have Solwain unrestricted. Because there is, like, Plasteel and stuff out here to be hauled. So I'm going to haul Slag before I haul Chunks. And then there's a bunch of steel. I can assign the throne for the, uh... Yeah, for the, uh, for meditation. And then also the quest for the Acolyte Ceremony. As soon as the last brazier is built and, and lit, I can uh, do it. It's a pretty low priority. I don't really care about that at the moment. God, sick baby is so annoying. Just want to stick you back in the vat. Unit, uh, can we build one more builder? No, I don't have the bandwidth. I need to destroy a bot for that. Oh, it's lit. I didn't mean for these to be lit, so I'm going to accept the Acolyte Ceremony um, so that we can maximize the burn time because there's not a lot of opportunity to grow a whole lot of, uh, of wood outside of fiber corn, so... I hadn't intended for this, but oh well. Okay. I'm now an acolyte. And I gained water skip, which would have been really useful to have, I don't know, like a few days ago. I can also choose a permit. Uh, I am going to choose... Trooper Squad. going to make that decision for myself. So death rest is almost fully researched. Baby, you need to be tended to. Oh, actually, you are immune, I think, right? That's the immunity symbol. It's weird that it doesn't say it's immune, but I believe that's the immunity symbol, uh, which means that growing for you again. I'm just going to uh, wait until I'm sure that that is the case. Forbid the corners? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, let's do the internal parts first. Good call. Oh, that's a good place to leave a baby. So I'm gonna wait until the grave, uh, infant illness subsides all the way to zero before vatting. Just to make sure that it's okay. The bedroom is undignified because she wants, I think, a double bed now. So she's an Acolyte 1. And then if we go to needs here, double bed, yeah. So I will get a double bed made when she's up again. Yeah, Gorin no longer has, I'm actually going to vat grow Gorin. Gorin no longer has um uh the sickness icon above. And it's going to be so much easier for me to deal with without having to, uh, without having to juggle babies. Uh, so giveaway timer for Gorn is up. Gorn technically has survived, uh, illness out of the woods and can be raffled. And you guys wanted me to accept this for Plasteel. Got it. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, uh, shoot. When's my last autosave? 
So the problem is, yeah, I'm just gonna wake her. When you wake up death rest too early, you have penalties. I meant to deconstruct the double bed, not to start de death rest, obviously. I'm just gonna roll with the penalties for my stupid misclick. But she'll have um, mental penalties until she starts death resting. I wish it wasn't so easy to uh, misclick that. I was just trying to give her a dignified bedroom. Because obviously I want her to finish the research for death rest before um, and get into a proper coffin instead. But nope. Just a little misclickies. And now I have a five day interrupted death rest penalty. Oh well. The penalties aren't bad, are they? Are you kidding? Moving 90%, manipulation 90%, consciousness 80%? Consciousness 80% is terrible. Oh, and now I'm drug overdosed. I'm deathless, so whatever, I'll be fine. I took the drugs in order to counteract the whole uh, penalties that I was sporting. And obviously, the storyteller was like, ha! Ah! Trying to outmaneuver me, are ya? Time for me to screw with you some more. Cause, you know, that's just my luck. Brandy hates me right now? Yeah, no kidding. With the fires that I had and everything else. Randy's a POS. I will need to do a little bit more slate cutting. But you know what? I did need some hemogen, so mule, I'm coming. Oops, that's not what I meant to click. I meant this button, the second one. So as far as the Channel Point Redemption for asking a question about the game, try to keep it relevant to this series specifically. If it's not relevant to the series, ask me on Discord, because uh, I am plenty happy to have conversations with the, all of you on Discord. If you have a question about something else, uh, that would be the place. Um, in terms of nutrition for these vats, I'm going to probably have to open it up to raw meat. So what I'm going to do here is this butcher creature here is obviously for human likes. So I'm going to suspend that one and do a butcher creature um, for regular meat. And I'm going to switch this over from um, human meat to regular meat because I wasn't doing it before because I was really busy. But now that I have a little bit more time, even though death rest is pending, um, it's, I think, worth it. So, let me go and butcher... Forget squirrels. I want to butcher, like, one big creature. Like a... Like the bear. Oh, what are you grabbing? You, you're grabbing a, a freaking... I hate you. I hate you. Why would you do that to me? No, can you just grab the stupid bear? Stand next to the bear. Grab the bear and butcher it. Oh, fine. Yaks are good enough. So the idea here is that um, I will use... and Let me just caravan. I'm going to use the animal meat for the vats and use the animal meat for prisoner feed. That way... Um, I feed them a little bit more efficiently and I'm not wasting the human meat. So for the food permissions for prison food it will be anything but human meat baby garn you're jonah the nomad congratulations jonah i hope you grow up strong and smart or something it's good uh Given that we're kind of adamant and eving the first Wendigo, Jonah's a very good biblical name. As far as I'm concerned. Now let's go ahead and butcher another one. 
And then I'll once I'm in death rest, I can have Slow Wayne deliver uh, animal meat to the growth fats to keep the animals or keep the um, the uh, to keep the fat grown children healthy. So these vats are also going to include meat, but not human. And that should keep them from going to bio, bio vat starvation. Has interrupted death rest an influence on death rest? No, once you actually start a death rest, uh, you will complete it in normal time, I believe. So now that I have death rest researched, I am going to make myself a death rest casket, which allows me to rest more efficiently than a bed. This was my intention all along. It was a total accident that I uh, death rested on a double bed. And then with this casket, I have three potential buildings that I can add to the death rest casket. And I'm gonna build death rest accelerators, which speed up the rate to which you death rest so that I can death rest quicker and get back on my feet quicker. Uh, the buildings, there is the accelerator, the hemo pump. Uh, so maybe I should read them for you so that you know what's going on. So the death rest accelerator connects with a death resting person and makes death rest complete quicker. Uh, the enhances it enhances the effect of death rest caskets using finer blood uh, analysis and more powerful chemicals. Um, then there is the pump. This pump um, makes you stronger once you awake. The amplifier. Um, I always get them confused, is you gain more hemogen from hemogenic sources. The hemogen pump um, increases your hemogen cap, and the psychic fluid pump increases your uh, psychic sensitivity, all of which are going to be awesome uh, in the long run, but in the short run, I just need, I just need a rest casket. The other thing I'm going to need is Orange Chaos. You are going to be assigned to group one, uh, two to work, and I am going to need to get you to get some additional components, because I am all out. A little worried about um, stripping the map of components, but I can always settle the adjacent tile and have Orange Chaos uh, rip it up, get me some components. So yeah, you're heading out to mine. Let me remove all those temporary zones. I forgot to do that because fire panic. Uh, mix. Soul lane, you're also unrestricted, so... You're able to go anywhere, but I think you've just been managing the prisoners. Theoretically, we're researching fabrication? Yes. Yes. Advanced fab. And it, it actually got, like, almost, like, like two-thirds done. Progress was made. It just was paused due to the need for death rest crept up on us. Oh man, running all that way for that steel was awful. I think it would have been faster for me to just have smelt it locally. And we're actually starting to store toxic waste packs outside. So I'm going to want to fix that by probably butchering some of the larger creatures, freeing up space. Before this fully decays. 
so much work to do, right? Life is toil. Oh, I think Slow Wayne actually grabbed the, uh, the components. So are there any other components out here, is the big question. Because I don't want to map strip. I know that there's an ancient danger that I could tap into. Don't forget my mechs before death rest. I won't. I'll put them on work. I, I appreciate the uh, reminder, though. Very helpful. Alright, so that frees up some room for the tox packs. Which I believe already just got hauled by Slow Wayne. So awesome. And that is a lot of components that I hope Slow Wayne hauls in so that we can. How is this not short circuiting? It's like super snowy out. I'm going to move it so it doesn't short circuit. Oh, taking your pants off. I didn't know it was time. There's so many clothing. I can't imagine the people that, that play with like massive mod packs trying to deal with uh, bills that have like a thousand things on them. It would confuse the hell out of me. Power to you if you can manage it. Would anesthetizing prisoners help before death rest? No, not really. They're going to get out of anesthesia within a very short period of time. So it functionally makes very little difference. Yeah, see, Yoda agrees with his loud barking. Alright, throne room is undignified. I can fix that. Oh, uh, nope, that's incorrect. This is supposed to be marble. Yeah, the reason why I'm not particularly um, concerned is what I will do is I will give Mac like a, you know, I can always wake up Mac out of the vat whenever I want. So even though I will be incapacitated briefly, there is the chance for Wendy to have backup like on demand. God. I don't know how many of these I'm going to be able to build in time. Because of how ridiculously expensive they are. And a Mac is now an adult. Oh, super immune. Not a bad trait. Man, I've been getting really lucky with Mac. So Mac is now 13. And I'm going to keep her growing until she hits 16. Unless I need her beforehand. Which might happen. Alright, so that's one of the... one of the um, the death rest accelerators oh, man. part of me actually kind of enjoys torturing these prisoners good source of blood Maybe Kish gets around to rebuilding that. I don't know. So the bedroom is not going to be dignified. I just realized because of the um, the casket. So I'll move it out for now. I'm obviously going to need a, uh, a casket room. Proper casket room at some point. Orange Chaos, uh, you look like you're done. So I had Orange Chaos mine a little tunnel here so it's a little bit faster. 
And I'm going to have orange uh, grab a little bit more steel. Oh, there is components here. I'll have you go for those. Any other components at the edge of the map that I have yet to acknowledge? Yes. You can't plan beyond the edge. Okay, so that's at least, uh, let's say, I don't know, 12 more components or so that I'll be able to get. Which is really nice. Hi, Tusk. Prisoners do still have legs, yes. Mac, if, if Mac wants to um, practice medicine by trying to chop off prisoner legs, sh she's welcome to. I won't stop her. It's pretty easy to re-dignify the bedroom. Does anyone know the limit of death rest accelerators? Maybe I'll just make two for now. I think economically that's a more reasonable goal anyway. I think it's two. Yeah, I thought it was two. I had just that thought. But, you know, I was pushing the beyond the limits. Oh, Kish rebuilt the door. With the steel that I wanted. Oh, finally! We have some uh, human raiders. They are prepare a while. Uh, it looks like impets, which are the nemesis of, um, of vampires because they breathe fire. So I'm going to send my robots behind the walls. And then I'm going to leave this door open. I'm not too worried because I can always hide behind the robots. The buildings tab is the limit or not. Um... Connection limit two. I think one of my robots... Oh, Slow Wayne is getting attacked right now. Yeah, this doesn't look like prepare a while. This looks like you're trying to come at me now. So where is Orange Cast right now? Mix. Okay, you should be fine. Zone. New zone. Mix. Even Parduke, because Parduke's really not doing anything as an aggro hand, because I don't have any farms. So, go dormant here. So that I am war ready. Who keeps... Sol who ke uh, no, it's Solwain is hauling my steel, I think. I hope. Every time I, uh, I smelt slag... The steel that I thought I had disappears, and I'm not really sure where it's going. Because Kish is repairing, so it... Oh, there, there's a whole stack of 75. Got it. Okay, I should probably prep for the fight. Uh, what is your needs? You need food and sleep, but we're going to skip sleep. Beginning their assault. Orange, where are you? Out of position significantly. Cool. Hey, Rosie, you want to join? You can be an orange chaos substitute until orange chaos gets here. Uh, you can't blood feed during combat. Cannot use... Uh, Blood feed on anyone who would actively resist. For whatever reason, berserked people don't actively resist. And I am strategically positioned Wendy deep enough that their little breathe fire might panic her, but it's not going to harm her.
OC, you still moving? Yeah, OC's coming in. Wally's down. First wave is through. That's a nice stack of herbal meds. Uh, Rosie, you can back up. Orange Chaos, you take front and center. In fact, no, you know, you're good there. Um, in fact, move. That's not going to work in time. Okay, Wally, you can come back up. Because I repaired you. And I think this is only a group of two. You know, given that my population is kind of like only one or whatever, the game goes rather easy. I want to move Orange Chaos, like, at, in the door, but there's whatever your name is blocking. Uh, Wendy, could you capture and just move them out of the way? There we go. Perfect. And maybe patch them up so that they don't die. So I can imprison some more people. Water skip the fire? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not using my Psy Focus, so why not? Bloop. Good call. I forgot that I had that. Have I... Nope, I still want to kill more people. It's a little challenging to try to catch uh, impids, but I do have long jump, so I'll start using long jump. And you all are good to go passive. Oh. Yeah, you know, I am... Don't care about your clothing. I'm going to kill this one. Uh, how old was the other prisoner? Are you of childbearing age? You are. So I'm going to steal your eggs. But this one, I don't need their eggs. Because he's male. He has none. So between 16 and 49 is egg extraction ages. Just a little reminder in FYI. And you have another prisoner. Uh, yep. You guys are probably pretty hungry. I might want to... butcher some more critters before I death rest. Yeah, I always play everything is losing is fun. Um... Unless stated otherwise. But I believe it's in the about command. So if you hit about, uh, you can read up on it. The wife was kind enough to bring me hot coffee. Ooh. Warm coffee. Correction. Good enough. I ain't picky. How old is Mac? 16. Ooh, an exotic goods trader. Um, yeah, you know what? You are going to gift me your kidney and your lung. So I can sell it. I don't know how good my uh, doctoring is going to be because of my interrupted death rest. Because I have lowered manipulation and uh, consciousness. But whatever, I'll try my best. Surgery fail. Not surprising. Uh, in fact, let's just coagulate. And blood feed Sky. Oh, we'll kill her. Okay, maybe not do that. Blood feed Mule. You're infected. I will tend to you. I also need to start gene ripping. Uh, let's extract an ovum. Now that I am reminded that that's a thing I can do. And then you had the kidney out, so I need to take a lump. This is so that I can just make a little bit more money with the exotic goods. Okay. Lung is done? Yep. I don't know where the lung is. Do you see a lung here? I don't, but whatever. And then you are going to go into the process. Because that looks like an egg. Where'd the lung go? I see a kidney. Is it... Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, 
Hard exotic goods. I have poor health penalties, but that's fine. Uh, perfect immunity and cyclic death as a gene pack. That's pretty cool. I'm going to hold off on that, though. Oh, had asthma, lose lung. Yeah, good call. I didn't, I didn't notice that, but you're right. Asthmatic lungs are not lungs that are uh, extractable. I should have noticed that. Well, that's a good healthy chunk of additional... Uh... So when I butcher creature here, I'm just going to drop it. Soul Wayne, my hauler bot, will um, haul the meat and the leather where it belongs. And deliver it to the people that uh, require it. So Mac is 13. Uh, you guys voted on pod until uh, pod until 16. So getting kind of close. I'm freeing up a whole lot of space in my freezer, which is good. I have a lot of robots to still repair. I haven't forgotten about that. Is there jeans I want to sell for the exotic goods to go bye-bye? Uh, slow I can sell. Pollution stimulus, I think I have a no, my other pollution stimulus burned up. So I'll sell slow. Uh, it's out of the range? Yeah, it's out of range. All right, uh, death rest in about a day. So the current goal is to prepare to death rest. So preparing to death rest, I'm going to try to prepare as much food for the prisoners as possible. Uh, Mac is obviously already adult, so if I need to, I can pop Mac out of, um, the vat and have Mac use a gun and, you know, police them appropriately. I just need a little... Okay, that's probably even enough steel. Now, the real question is, have we hauled in the... Oh, what is... Orange Chaos, go back to work. Because I don't have the components. Or steel, I suppose. To finish that up. Hey, Amicus. Watching DV on YouTube. May need your neck brace for the whiplash of the change of ethos. Yes. Absolutely yes. This series is ethically opposite of the other one. Impids that are sick uh, don't usually fare well because their immunity sucks. I might want to gene murder this impid, so it's not a it's a problem I could ignore. So I'm gonna go do that. I do have two death rest accelerators, so I'm all set to death rest. Uh, but there's a little bit uh, there's some additional tasks I want to manage before I start which would be to repair the mechs and get them ready for um, to defend. So I'm not sleepy yet, so let me repair these guys. So ideally, what you want to do when you're going to be checked out is um, I'm going to set... Okay, I do need to repair Rosie. I'm going to set all of the mechs on the same group and then have a work group so that I can trigger all mechs to 
fight in a certain area when commanded. So that Mac doesn't have to single-handedly defend the base. Because that wouldn't be uh, something that I would expect a 13-year-old girl to be able to do as first generation when when to go. So by all of that, what I mean is um, assign all of the mechs to control group 2. Except for, let's say, Parduk. Parduk will be work control group 1. Control group, or maybe Solwain will be work 1. Uh, so work group 1, uh, control group 1 rather, is going to be work control group Two will be dormant self-charge. So if I want the mechs to come alive when I am incapacitated, I can switch their control groups from two to one, set them to this zone, and they will patrol this zone automatically, even if I'm incapacitated, which is uh, a way to sort of control the mechs when you're, when you're out of commission. Do I need to enslave Mule to ins inseminate the eggs? Yes, I would. Let me manage these prisoners before they, like, die of malnutrition as well, I guess. I've kept them alive this long. Oh, I don't even have meat anymore. Man, all the meat goes to the vats. So quickly. Alright, so death rest is very, very soon. Got it. Yeah, I don't I, I don't foresee a situation where I don't pull mech out briefly. If I had a fabric core, it might be possible not to. But uh let's start death resting. So the there we go. The Death rest accelerators are now biotuned to Wendy. And she is going to be death resting until she's recovered, unless I have to wake her up for some sort of emergency where she would suffer a penalty. So she has two and a half days left at a current rate. OC mechs work. So see how I can sort of control Orange Chaos? Oh, right, yeah, that, that was... I was like, oh, what happened? It's like, yeah, you know, that that's intended. So I could control mechs even if they... I'm in death rest by manipulating their, um, their scheduling and their control groups. Or allowed zones and control groups. They've been recently fed. A worst case scenario, what I could do is I could haul the spider corpses uh, into these rooms if they start to starve with Solwain uh, to keep them fed. If it really became an issue. And here, Orange Chaos is now in the correct zoning. And you are going to be set to group two for dormant recharge. So I have all my robots sitting in the entryway, uh, ready to defend. Akish, I'm going to have you work, though. And I am going to home zone Kish. Oh, well, here's a case where I will show you how to control the mechs from a distance. So I paint the zone. I tell Orange Chaos to go to Area 1, and then I tell Orange Chaos to work, and that means that Orange Chaos will fight in Area 1, because these two morons are fighting. You're there, now fight. They're not exactly smart. But Orange Chaos should start bashing it back. There we go. I'm just getting a lot more cracks than I intended. Oh, he's gonna die because I don't have a I don't have a way. Oh, you know what, Mac? Here, you uh, go fix this. A 
if you can. Okay, how about you back up? Because you're seemingly unable to fight all that well. I mean, you don't really know how to fight yet, to be totally fair. I'm going to have uh, Max stick on a parka. And t-shirt. I don't think I have pants anywhere, but a flop cap is fine. I don't know, those pants are 52%. I'm down he goes. You're a teetotaler, that's right. I can't tell you to, to take, uh, wake up. Just stay awake. Food. And... I'll have you rest for a minute, and then I'll send you up there to go, uh, go tend. So, Orange Cast, go over to Entry, and you are going to be set to Dormant. So all I really need to do is to patch one bleed and he'll survive. Or no, you're gonna go berserk. Hey, Orange Chaos, I'm pretty sure that you're not in the entrance zone that I had scheduled you to. Did I get the, yeah, okay, so he's dead. Three seconds, two seconds, he's dead. Well, less problems for me, I guess. Because Sky is going to lay here. Uh, Slow Wayne. Go to the farm. Get away from Mac. In fact, Slow Wayne, go to the entrance. And just stay away from Mac if you can. Oh, you're attacking Rosie now? That's just That's just rude. What have I found the best option for mech recharge point to be? Um, between 10 and 95. I don't know if they fixed the bug, but there was a bug uh, where if you had it up to 100%, it could be annoying because what would end up happening would be um, that robots would just leave the recharger, go back to the recharger, leave the recharger, go back to the recharger, and it was... Um, it was kind of problematic, so I don't know if that's still the case. You'll have to test for yourself, but uh, when I was testing it, I found that charging up to 100% was actually kind of annoying. Hmm. Right now I'm playing Hide the Mechs with the Berserk Crazed uh, Mech. She's slow because of her punches to her femurs, so it's pretty easy to just keep moving around, keep away from Mech. Because Mac won't even be able to find a valid target to hit now. Rosie's just broken, but not dead. Or whatever the robot equivalent of dead is, destroyed. And same with Orange Chaos. Wendy has death rest about a day and a half left. How do you have the guns? It is a setting. So if you want to show your guns, go to your options, go to interface, and then go to weapon below portrait and set it to always. It is a... RimWorld 1.4 feature. No mods required. Alright, Mac, because you're a jerk, you lose your uh, bed privileges on Wendy's bed. Yeah, you can sleep there. Okay, uh, Max, go back to entrance. And thank you for avoiding the crazed Mac. So yeah, you can see that even with a, a death resting or otherwise incapacitated um, member of the of your you know of your community, uh, mechs can still be somewhat told what to do. Not perfect, obviously, because I can't really tell them to fight exactly, but close enough.
All right, mech. Hey, we'll have you consume meat. What is your genome again? So you have reduced pain. Your heat and cold tolerance, strong immunity. And you like pollution. I'm going to have you try to feed uh, what's-her-face. I didn't need to rescue Mac. Mac was just asleep. Alright, nutrition in the Jonah's growth vent is okay. That's good. Good to see. Good to see. Good to hear. And then food for the prisoners. I'm going to manage the food restriction yet again and add baby food to it. Because I have some baby food that I don't really need that uh, Mac can feed to Sky. Uh, wolves or foxes, rather, are eating the impid. Or not. I tried. Just didn't exactly work in time. All right, Mac, here's a bedroom for you. It's certainly better than the floor. In fact, uh, this bed would be best because this is a, um excellent bed. But given that there's no more responsibilities, just re-enter the growth vat. One of the advantages of growth vatting is now I don't have any conscious people, so time super accelerates to get Wendy back, right? Because everyone's sleeping. I don't think mechs count. So as you can see, they're zipping around with like super fast forwarded time. And she's back in uh, 13 hours. Granted to no prisoners, which is kind of annoying, but uh, you know, whatever. It Nothing burned down. It wasn't like Troy that went to go get pizza and returned to the the darkest timeline. It has been a dark timeline, but not darkest. It could be it could be worse. So with Deathrest fully fulfilled, um, it's going to be a while before I need Deathrest again. Uh, nutrition for Mac. Uh, I hope Slow Wayne uh, hauls it. Actually, Mac, maybe fill your own vat here. Thank you for tuning in to the first Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 10th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits and also support the channel. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, my fellow Wendigos.